2K just released their brand new ringside report for WWE 2K23. So today we're gonna take a look at this and it is a full breakdown of everything you need to know about war games. So obviously this is the first time we're ever gonna get war games in a 2K game. Everyone's very, very excited to be able to get their hands on this finally in March. And with the new ringside report, we do know a lot of new things and new details regarding the match type. Some of the things we do know is that it's going to be a three versus three or four v four multiplayer match. You got two rings, you got different choices for weapons to put in there. You can have situations where you're gonna have handicap match situations going on based on who's gonna get the advantage within war games and different springboard attacks, fighting in between the ring and a lot, lot more. 2K outlines the rules for the war games match. So if you're not familiar, it goes like this. Two superstars enter the ring where the members are contained inside separate cages. At regular intervals, alternating members of each team will be released from their respective cages and enter the match. Once all team members have been released and enter the match, war games begins. War games can be won by pinfall or submission or throwing your opponent off of the cage. There are three arenas available for war games. We knew two of them. One was going to be the NXT arena for war game. The second one was going to be the updated Survivor Series arena. In recent interviews, the developers explained how they were able to push themselves to be able to get the new Survivor Series arena in this game. The last arena that is announced is going to be a My Rise specific arena. They didn't give us any details or show us what this arena will look like, but you kind of have to figure we're going to play My Rise and you're going to progress your story on the men or the women's side, depending on your character. And it's going to culminate at some point at Survivor Series where you are going to be involved in a war games match. Presumably winning that match, you're going to unlock the My Rise War Games Arena. Looking at solo and multiplayer gameplay, players have the option to randomize the team advantage. So you can decide which team gets the two versus one advantage after the first new entrant, or you can assign it to a specific side of who's going to get the advantage. Custom superstars are eligible to use in war games on the men's and women's side among the regular superstars as well as the legends. So you can have that sweet, sweet AEW war games match. And for match rules, you can customize it. You're gonna be allowed to not only select pinfalls or submissions, you can toggle if you want it to just be one or the other. So you can have a full war games match that is gonna be just pinfalls or just submissions if you wanna do that. The intervals for when other participants are gonna come into war games can be changed too. By default, the superstars enter every 90 seconds, but you can change this to range from 30 seconds up to five minutes. That can be a lot of fun because if you max it out to five minute intervals, everybody is going to be exhausted, especially the beginning superstars in that match. They're going to be worn down. So it's fun that you could play with the intervals because it could have a lot of effect on how that match is going to play out. Also, it would just be stupid long. 2K writes in the ringside report that once a match begins, players can take control of the superstar they chose. If that superstar is waiting in a holding cage, they can either let the AI play until it's their turn to join the match or by pressing the view button on Xbox or the touchpad on PlayStation controllers to quickly swap between which superstars on the team they are controlling without having to go into the pause menu. I like that a lot. Not having to go into the menu, pausing the game, go to controller assignment, and select somebody else you want to control. Being able to just touch on the pad for PlayStation, for example, and then being able to toggle which superstar I'm going to be in war games, it doesn't take you out of the match and that's a really good thing. The team also writes that war games in local multiplayer can be up to four players on Steam, PlayStation, and up to six on Xbox. Players can play on the same team or be split up into members of each team. War Games is also available for online multiplayer, which is great, for up to eight players across the same platform family. They say the same platform family, meaning PlayStation players play with PlayStation, Xbox on Xbox, and I assume PC players are just on their own island too. Some of the weapons they talk about, and we've seen this in the preview footage, but you can pull out tables, stop signs, kendo sticks, and a lot more. There were dev interviews done over the 2K event weekend that said things like ladders will not be made available in War Games. And as we've seen in some of the preview footage, you can do moves off the top of the cage doing giant splashes and things like that. They do have a clip here of Kofi Kingston taking down Seth Rollins in between the two rings so that you can see that we can pull off some really good moves in between there. And likewise, they show springboard attacks being done by Kofi onto Seth too, which is really cool. 
2K is planning to release more of the ringside reports, and I'm really hoping that we're gonna see it like we did last year, where they're gonna talk about my GM, universe mode, my rise, all the things that players really wanna know about. We should be getting a couple of more of these leading up until the release of the game, plus, they'll likely do the superstar reveals too. What has you excited about war games? And if you wanna learn more about 2K23 and all the news and updates, click this video right here. There's a ton more going on with 2K23. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.